Welcome to the Cadence Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we're going to walk you through the Cadence Download page. In order to access the Cadence Download page, you're going to have to go to downloads.cadence.com. Once you get to that page, you're going to be presented with a screen that looks like this, where you're going to be asked to sign in. At this point, it is understood that you have already created your Cadence credentials. If you need more information about how to create your Cadence credential, please look at the video that is linked in the description. After you enter your credentials and you sign in to the Cadence Downloads page, you're going to be presented with something like this. I always like to go up here to Software Releases and choose the latest releases option in there, which is what you're seeing right now, to see what are the latest releases that Cadence has made available. The first thing that I would like you to show you right here is if we go all the way to the right, you can actually see right here a little icon for your preferences and your personal setup. So we're going to choose the first option, which is the download preferences. In the download preferences, there are a few things that you can actually set up before you start downloading software from this page. The first thing in the download method section, make sure that you click or select this option, which is the complete media image option. You can also set up right here a default operating system. In my case, I have Windows set up as my default system. And last but not least, there's a section right here that is going to allow you to define your preferred releases. I have added to these uh, section right here, Fidelity and Pointwise, which are my releases of interest. Once you're actually done with these changes and you like all the options that you have selected, you can simply click Save and you're going to go back to the previous page. After all this is set up, there is an option right here called My Preferred Releases that if you actually turn that on, is going to filter that long and big list of all the software and show you only the pieces of software that you are interested in. Now, in this page right here, you have, again, to the, on the left side, you have the operating systems that you're interested in. So I'm going to select Windows as my operating system, since it is what I'm using right now. And right here in the releases section, in that filter box, I'm going to enter LIC, and you can see that that option LIC plus config underscore utils is going to show up. If you select this right here, this option is going to be selected. And this is how you actually download the Cadence License Manager. So you're going to select your preferred operating system, and then you're going to look for this particular option, LIC plus config underscore utils. This is, again, the Cadence License Manager. So you're going to be presented with a page like this one where you have all the information that you need. For example, you have the release name, release date, the release version. I have in here the media, which is where I'm going to download my software, the operating systems that are basically compatible with this installer that you're about to download. And you have in here additional documentation that you can download. The one that you're going to find perhaps more interesting is the readme-install PDF file that is going to provide detailed information about how to install the Cadence License Manager for different platforms. If you want to download the Cadence License Manager, always make sure that you're downloading the hot fix release which you can see right here on the upper left corner of this section. So always make sure that you download the latest thing. Simply click on the Downloads icon, and you're going to see that something like this is going to show up, where it's going to allow you to select where you would like to uh, save your installer. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually install a Cadence License Manager. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.